Star Wars The Expanded Universe. I'm a huge fan of some of The Expanded Universe. It's fun to read, listen to, so on and so on. I'm currently reading Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi. Before I endure deeper into this topic, I don't really care that The Expanded Universe was declared non-canon. It's not a huge deal. The Expanded Universe is now titled as Star Wars Legends. And it's cool that way, because they are now Legends. It's a cool little story that takes place in the Star Wars Universe. You can think of it as the way in which they are called, Legends. Or you can think of it as a what if, or an alternate universe. To me it makes it more fun looking at it that way. It has excitement. That way you can enjoy both universes separately. The newer movies will most definitely borrow themes and point plots from the expanded universe, but it's important to understand why they declared the expanded content non-canon. With the new movies coming out, by declaring the expanded universe non-canon, they have a whole new slate and creative canvas to craft a new and exciting story. Not to mention, that'll decrease the chance of spoilers. Listen, do you really want to read a comic book or a book and then have the movie based on the book that copies it from cover to cover? No, you don't want it. It spoils the plot point and becomes so predictable, it ruins the excitement and shock. This way, we don't know what's coming. Star Wars has always been about the mystery. Back to my original point. This will be like watching an expanded universe, novel, story, legend made into a movie. It's Star Wars. It's just a different story arc. In the Star Wars universe will have new characters. We'll get a whole new set of characters to care about. I'm excited. We love Star Wars and the setting, and we love the characters. In this way, we'll get our Star Wars fixed with new characters and another story. It won't be about Luke or Han, it'll be about something else. Stealing the planets from the Death Star. It'll be different while being familiar. We'll be nervous going in because we won't know if we'll like it. We love Star Wars, but we don't know if we will like the characters or the story. George Lucas himself approved and approves of the expanded universe. He realizes he's created this huge universe that we as fans get to explore and enjoy together. It's great that the creator gave us permission to create. However, he has always declared that his movies are the main canon. He doesn't agree with every single plot point, and he doesn't always agree with how the characters are portrayed. And we can't get mad at that. It's not our universe. We should have known deep down that the expanded universe was never set in stone. Never once. It doesn't mean you can't enjoy the stories that are given to us, because whether or not it's canon, it is Star Wars. Let's read this quote from a Lucasfilm press release. While Lucasfilm always strive to keep the stories created for the EU consistent with our film and television content as well as internally consistent, Lucas always made it clear that he was not beholden to the EU. He set the films he created as the canon. This includes the six Star Wars episodes and the many hours of content he developed and produced in Star Wars The Clone Wars. These stories are the immovable object of Star Wars history, the characters and events to which all other tales must align. Listen, I understand why some Star Wars fans may be upset that the EU is not totally canon, but that's not Disney's fault or anyone else's fault. Let's look at this quote from George Lucas from Star Wars Insider in a 1999 issue. Part of the job of the director is to sort of keep everything in line. And I can do that in the movies, but I can't do it on the whole Star Wars universe. It would be extremely difficult for the screenplay writers to examine every single detail in the Star Wars universe, reading Wikipedia from page to page to get a general summarization, reading every comic book and every book cover to cover to analyze every single detail put in the publications. Remember at the beginning of the video when I mentioned it's like a parallel universe? Here's a quote from George Lucas during an interview with Cinescape magazine. There are two worlds here, explained Lucas. There's my world, which is the movies, and there's this other world that has been created, which I say is the parallel universe, the licensing world of the books, games, and comic books. They don't intrude on my world, which is a select period of time, but they do intrude in between the movies. 
I don't get too involved in the parallel universe. Therefore, we can look at episodes 1 through 7 as the main story, as Lucas canon. Then we can look at 1 through 6 and the rest of the EU as another what if or as canon in an alternate Star Wars universe timeline. You can still enjoy it as quality Star Wars content. It's another dimension. Because in real life, every decision you make, every motion you make, every thought you think, every word you speak will have an effect on how your life turns out. Decisions from choosing which kitten or puppy to take home, what to name your kitten or puppy, which job you want to apply for, how you dress to a job interview, or what you say to the person conducting the interview. Do you ever sit down and ponder, how would my current situation be if I did this instead of that? Or if I didn't do this? Or if I had said something else? This is essentially the expanded universe. If you want to, you can look at it as a traditional story, sometimes popularly regarded as historical, but unauthenticated. Which in a nutshell is basically what Star Wars Legends or the expanded universe is and has always been. So I'll end the video on this note. Enjoy what we have. Enjoy the expanded universe and the main canon as you wish. Cross over at your own will. Enjoy them separately or try to interweave them. We all love Star Wars. I love Star Wars. And to tell you the truth, I'm not upset at anybody for the EU not being canon. They're still good stories and they are still enjoyable. This is Geeks of the West, signing out.